Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Jocelyn Conley. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist, founder of the Vagina Doc. And in this video, I'm gonna go over bridge stomps. The purpose of this exercise is to train the reactive core, the part of the core that responds really quickly to forces that are imposed on our body, like when we're jumping or running, so that your Reactive core, your reactive deep core is ready and prepared for activities like running. The goal is to prepare so that you don't leak during running. A lot of women just go right back to running without putting the work that needs to be laid down first and they leak. Well, this is to address that. This is to try to prevent that. What you'll need is space uh, around you, maybe a yoga mat, and a prerequisite of this is you should be able to do a single leg glute bridge while maintaining your spine in a neutral position. That's mainly it. So you're gonna lie on your back and get into a neutral pelvic position. Your hands could be right on the side of your body as I have them. You're gonna squeeze your glutes to elevate your hips. Your back stays in neutral the whole time. And you're gonna shift your weight onto one leg, lift the other leg, drop down. Then you're gonna do the opposite side, shifting your weight onto the left, hip lifts, stomping down. Now you could do consecutive eight to 16 reps and then switch or you can alternate. The important thing is, is as I shift, I maintain a neutral position. My hip stays elevated the whole time as I stomp, okay? If your hamstring cramps, why that could happen is your hamstring is doing most of the work. So really initiating with your glutes and maintaining that glute engagement as you support your body weight on that one leg is absolutely key. The other thing is you might be arching in your back and it's a body's reactive response to tense up the hamstrings. Hard to say without looking at you, but that is a common thing that will happen in people that have overactive hamstrings as well as poor spinal control. Where you're gonna feel this is absolutely in your glutes the leg that's supporting you, you're gonna feel this maybe in your, your hip and elsewhere as you're stomping. How hard you stomp will impact the amount of force traveling through your body. So start light and then increase. It shouldn't hurt anywhere to stomp. And if you wear shoes, that could be helpful in absorbing some of the force. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them below. If this video was helpful, please press the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that button so you're notified every time a new video drops. And of course, if you know anyone that could benefit from watching this video, please share. My name is Dr. Jocelyn Conley. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.